Thank you. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh's promise to Quebecers to give them the power to block any pipeline didn't come as a surprise. The party needs to keep its 14 seats there. There has to be social acceptability. There has to be communities that are on side. But Singh didn't stop there. In an interview with CBC News, he revealed he'd extend what is essentially a veto to every single province. I would not impose a project on any province. If we want to move forward with a project, there has to be the buy-in from all the people involved. Quebec's premier appeared pleased with the proposal, but his counterpart in oil-dependent Alberta called Singh's comments stunning and said they would undermine national unity. Experts say Singh's proposal flies in the face of the Constitution, which gives the feds outright authority to build infrastructure projects in the national interest. Well, this country was built on railways. This country was built on canals. Um, and to say that you know the, the, a provincial leader could have stopped that would mean that Canada does not exist. Should the federal government not be able to deem what it believes is in the national interest? I think the national interest has to coincide with making the efforts to have people that are impacted believe in the project. And that's hard work, but that's kind of the beauty of federalism, that it's not something that should be where we're imposing decisions. Singh may not become Canada's next prime minister, but he could hold the balance of power in a minority government, which is why his promise to cede federal power to the provinces is taken seriously and scrutinized as such. Vashi Capellos, CBC News, Ottawa. So during this campaign, other leaders have also talked about how energy projects would get approved in this country, something that has proved challenging. Justin Trudeau clearly has the most experience trying to get a pipeline built. He's not only approved one, he used tax dollars to buy one. And he's talked about the social license needed to do so. Indigenous Canadians have uh, a range of perspectives from one community to the next on various projects and what's really important is that we engage in meaningful conversations about how we're going to build uh, a better future that includes them. The Liberals also responded to concerns in BC around the Trans Mountain expansion by investing more in marine protection and spill response but ultimately the decision was the federal government's. Andrew Scheer has said he'd like to see an east-west energy corridor, a dedicated space for infrastructure projects like pipelines or hydroelectric projects. And just last week, he said a Conservative government would assert federal jurisdiction when faced with objections from provinces or Indigenous communities. Referring those types of jurisdictional questions to the Supreme Court right away so that we can get certainty. Instead of watching these court pro cases move slowly up and up, uh, being appealed,